What up, y'all? It's your boy Weep Healer in the house, back with another gaming capture tutorial. This one is on the Game Capture HD from Elgato. Elgato.com was wonderful enough to send me a review unit. Gonna show you how to set it up, how to get the best video quality onto YouTube from either your PS3 or your Xbox 360. Very awesome device right here. It's about the size of the iPhone I'm actually using. Um, this one does not come with the cat as advertised. Dude, really? You're gonna step into my video here? Come on, Molly, get out the way. Anyway, Game Capture HD, really? You're going to do this right now? Alright, cool. Uh, Game Capture HD right here, the unit is teeny tiny. It's like a, a iPhone, pretty much. Pretty good stuff. It's got an HDMI in, HDMI out, USB in, and a AV in, which is good for us Xbox users who use component cables. Get out the way, boy! This one, I've got an old Xbox. I was kind of bumming when I got the device. I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't have an HDMI. I can't put it into the input. But, that's what this is for. You have component outs from your Xbox or your PS3. They go into the, obviously, color-coded. Then this plugs into the Elgato. This piece has a micro USB right here that plugs into the Elgato, and this goes to your PC or your laptop. Laptops and PCs have to have Windows 7. You can't have XP or Vista. They've got to be updated with Windows 7. You're going to get the gaming capture uh, tutorial, sorry, gaming capture software from Elgato.com. You just go right over there, and you download the latest version. That's a nice thing because you know you always have the latest version. Also comes with an HDMI cable, which was very courteous of El Gato because those things can cost 20, 30 bucks. Uh, I'm going to show you guys, like I said, the setup, why my render settings as far as getting good quality video onto YouTube. I use Sony Vegas. It drops right into Sony Vegas 11 Pro. Uh, not too sure about some of the other stuff. I'm also going to show you certain techniques to use in the gaming um, capture software in order to get the video that's very playable and very nicely HD onto your computer and onto YouTube. All right, guys, so uh, I'll check you in a minute. All right, so I got everything hooked up. The HDMI goes from the out for the El Gato into the TV. I've got my little USB that's running right to my laptop over there, and I've also got the components right here from the Xbox plugged into here. This goes into the Elgato, and then everything is perfectly streamed onto both my TV, woohoo, and my laptop. So check it out. Pretty much not a, not a bunch of delay, man. It's actually pretty cool. Um, the best feature about this bad boy here is this right here. Boom. I'm going to show you guys the screen capture. It's going to look a lot better than this uh, video right here, but this automatically streams it to your PC depending on how much space you have on your PC or your laptop. Awesome stuff because if you miss a clip, you miss a FIFA goal, you miss some uh, Call of Duty 6 snipe shot, you can always get back and go rewind and click record because it captures it right to your device. How awesome is that? Wicked cool stuff. I would say the only downfall right now with this unit is it has to be plugged in in order for you to play. It's USB powered so it has to be put into either a PC or a laptop while you're playing your Xbox or your PS3. Otherwise you won't get video to your TV. So it's not really a downfall. I mean, most of the time, you guys are going to capture when you play. So pretty cool stuff. Um, I love this device. It's so small. It's a lot smaller than the hot wash. It's uh, not a ton of wires, you know. If you've got an HDMI from your Xbox or your PC, all you do is HDMI in, HDMI out, and that's it. I mean, how awesome is that? The PS3... Um, Users, man, it's good stuff. The Xbox users, another good stuff, man. You get HD video right to your PC or your laptop for editing onto YouTube. As far as quality goes, I gotta say they're pretty equal. This and the Hopage. Um, Hopage, I think the frame rate might be a little smoother, but the Elgato, as far as colors and vibrance go, it's gotta be. It's gotta be that, man. It looks so much crisper on YouTube. Um, I will give you guys uh, some more insight. I'm gonna do some screen capture in a minute. What's up, Molly? You're totally, totally blowing up my spot here. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the little kitty kitty. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Say hi to YouTube. All right, so we are ready to rock and roll. I've got the game capture software right here on my PC. I already downloaded it. What I did is I went right over to Elgato.com. Go to the support. It's going to bring up software downloads. One for a Mac, one for a Windows PC. If you're running Windows, obviously click the Windows. If you're running Mac, run a Mac. Okay, Windows right here. Windows 7, Elgato Game Capture HD. I click that. Going to give you a Windows download. I downloaded that. Again, take a look at the system requirements. If you're running Windows XP or Vista, it ain't going to work, homie you got to get Windows 7 so update your PC I pretty cool this is the software as you see I have no input no signal it says well I'm not using an HDMI so let's click settings let's run right over to the component drop that down I also boom go all the way up to best it's just how I do I don't know if anyone else wants to do that because it is 25 Mbps extremely high quality but probably a big file size I always do best I really like to have the best quality on YouTube also click this preserve source format that will be unchecked 
This is going to make an MP4 from the raw M2TS file. The MP4 file you can use in Sony Vegas to edit, which is what I use. I use Sony Vegas 11. I don't know what all the other guys use. I think After Effects and things. You can also use that MP4. So as you can see, my settings are 1280 by 720. That is 720p video. 59.94 frames per second, which is very close to the 60. Smoothest you can get. 25 Mbps component with HD 720p video. Click OK. As you can see, my Xbox screen on my TV, sorry, on my PC, which mimics my TV, whatever I do on there is going to get sent right to my laptop. Right here, the beautiful bread and butter of this bad boy, okay? It's streaming to my PC right now. This, it's eating up some of my free space, but the good thing about it is, you know, in your moment of zen, you forget to click record, and you miss that clip. Well, you know what? Let me just rewind it. There we go. Oh, let me capture it. Oh, yeah, buddy. That's what I'm talking about. You can rewind the stream to your computer and capture it. Never again will you miss a goal. Never again will you miss that snipe shot, the game-winning kill cam. Awesome stuff. Also can edit within this software. I've not used that feature yet. I'm still into the Sony Vegas. I'm just very easy. Um... I already know how to use it, you know what I mean? I don't know much about the editing here, but I know you can upload directly to YouTube with that. So that's a pretty cool feature. If you don't have editing software and you guys want it, you just buy this device, and it's $199, I think, right now. You buy the Elgato, and you can download the software for free, and that has some editing in it. Pretty cool. So let me stop recording right here. It's going to record by default right into, let's see if it's up here. Yeah, right here, your game capture library, okay? I've got it right into my videos. So down here... It's set it right into my video library. Okay, these are the MP4 files. I did one earlier and I failed on it, so I'm doing it again. This is an MP4. What happens in really long files, though, as you can see, there's like a little knob right down here. What happens with a really long video is after you click stop, it's going to convert that raw MP. M2TS file into an MP4 file. So if you've got a 15 minute video, you may have to wait a minute or two for this to actually convert it to an MP4. But the good news is you have both raw files. If you've got a raw file here in your library, whatever one you, um, whatever video you've done, you can name it whatever the heck you want, but it's an M2TS file, the highest quality right there, beautiful things, okay, all these temporary files are just for the editing software within Elgato capture software, you don't need to do anything with them, okay, that's just kind of extra fluff, but the M2TS file is right there if you want the absolute highest quality, or you can use that MP4, like I said here, uh, they both play pretty darn smooth, and check out the video here, I mean, that's absolute, it looks like I'm playing Xbox on my, my computer, sick stuff okay so you get nice HD video right to your computer uh, I can't say enough about this device it's really cool I think the colors are more vibrant I'm very very satisfied thank you Agato for sending me a review clip if any of you guys sorry review unit if any of you guys have any questions or comments and need some help setting this thing up I'm your man hit me up we peel our AOL.com or send me a YouTube message I answer almost every day about this thing um, you know Elgato and the Hot Posh I've done tutorials on a lot of different stuff so definitely the most viewed tutorial guy for gaming capture devices happy to help you guys out if you need it and please hit me up let me know um, you know even if you have a, a question on before you buy it let me know okay I'll do my best to answer it but the bread and butter here is you can rewind the stuff and capture it again in case you miss something pretty sick awesome device. Alright guys, so I showed you guys how to set this bad boy up. Let's see some render settings. Haha, <laughs> Vegas 9.0 C. I know I told you guys I used the Vegas Pro 11, but I got 9 on my computer, so we're going to show you 9. 11 is pretty much the same exact thing. Go to your render as. Actually, first things first. Let's right click on the video. Go to properties. Disable your resample. That's going to get rid of any motion blur that you get. Also, another couple uh, wee peeler secrets here is you can run right over to your video FX. Unsharp the mask. Reset it to none. Drag this into the whole timeline that's going to get every video on the timeline unsharp your mask let's go to 150 also do that to the radius 0 0.150 okay that's going to clear everything up give you nice contrast in the video all right render settings file render as i use wmv and i also use a default template right here six Mbps HD 720 30p video and then I go to custom and I change a few things I go over to video I change this over to 59.9 WNTSC if you guys want the smoothest video some people are gonna say oh you don't need all that because YouTube down converts to 30 does not matter you're gonna get the best video if you start off with the best raw file or you can go to 30 and uh, you know it's gonna render time it's gonna cut it in half but really basically you want to um, you want to do it in the best quality to get the best quality onto YouTube. So I go here. Um, pretty much everything else you guys can see here, 1280 by 720 and uh, 5 keyframes per second. 
and then click OK and then render it and that's going to give you the absolute best quality. Also, you can go just to MBPS 72030 video right here and don't even change anything in custom. Uh, you could leave it to 29 and that's going to cut your render time down immensely. It'll still give you pretty decent quality, but if you're looking for OCEs, the real high quality stuff, do what I showed you before with the 60 frames per second. All right, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and it worked out for you very well. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the section below and I will get around to it. I check my stuff every day. We peel it at AOL.com. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.